Today's video is all about improving our athletic performance, our health, whatever your sport is, tennis, basketball, it doesn't matter. There are two keys that you have to keep in mind. <clears throat> Number one, show up every day. You've got to show up even when you don't feel like it. You have to push yourself a little bit. Maybe you'll need more rest, go to bed earlier. So showing up is key. And number two, this is a big one, where a lot of people fail. They fail with showing up too. Sometimes people will make excuses, oh, I need a day of rest or whatever. But you can always work another area of your body. It might be your work your neck, uh, your calves, your feet, whatever. But show up and do something every day. The other thing is you have to work. So when, when I'm working out, that's it. I am dialed in on working hard, as hard as I can. Now, all of you know that I'm a raw vegan. I eat a lot of fruit. It's a high fruit raw vegan diet. People get confused. They think I don't eat vegetables. I eat tons of leafy greens. I eat vegetables. I eat nuts, seeds, and avocados. So it's, it's not just fruit that I'm eating, okay? Vegetables are a key component to your health. You need the minerals that are in vegetables. So um, I decided because, you know, a lot of people say, oh, you raw vegan fruitarians look too skinny, that I'm going to go on a muscle building program, okay? So now I'm 73 and a half. I'll be 74 in December. So I want to prove that you can still build muscle at almost 74 and on a raw high fruit vegan diet. I want to see if I can prove that. So I'm looking to gain muscle and I'm not going to do it with protein powders. No way. I don't want that junk. To me, it's junk. Okay. It's garbage. I wouldn't pay for that. No way in the world because I know I can get plenty of protein from fruits, vegetables, nuts, seeds, and avocados. So now this is going to be a long-term project. You know, I mean, you don't, cause I've never ever in my entire life been into a muscle building program. I've never done it because for my sport, which is tennis, you don't need super big muscles. Actually, they can be a hindrance. You want to be lean, you know, kind of like Djokovic, lean, strong, wiry, but not too bulked up. Now, <clears throat> Agassi, on the other hand, was kind of bulked up, and he did pretty well, too. So, you know, I'm going to just see where this takes me, um, but I'm working at it. It's a project. It's going to t I'm into it now because I started doing this January 1st. 2023. So here we are, beginning of August. I've shown up every day. Every day I have shown up. And I've worked hard. Every, you know, some days harder than others because some days, even your hardest work, you don't have a lot in the tank. So you do what you can. But so we're going to see. Today, I'll give you an example of the kind of things I do. Now, I did the workout. It's already done. I track my workouts because if you don't track it, you're not going to know if you, you know, need to up the weight, or up the reps, or whatever you need. So for me, today, I did 150 plus yards forward and backward with the sled. Now the sled is intense. It's an absolute intense tool. Some gyms have them. 
If they, if your gym has it, use it. You're going to benefit tremendously. It's an incredible cardiovascular workout. Strengthens your legs like unbelievable. And tennis is a leg game. Every time you hit the ball in tennis, you're, you're squatting and lifting as you hit. When you're hitting from the baseline, you're squatting and you're lifting. Your legs get a tremendous workout. And you need to be able to do that for three hours, four hours. And your legs have to have strength and endurance. So the sled is so intense. There's a thing called the sled flu. <laughs> because it's so intense, sometimes you feel like throwing up. <laughs> but anyway, it's usually not that bad for me now, especially because I'm, I'm used to it. But sled is, is, is uh, worth it. You can buy them online now and use them in grass. You can get them for like $75. There's a guy online, I forget, oh man, I'll try and re uh, tell, let you know who that is next time. Um, or maybe your gym has it. Or you can go on a treadmill, don't turn the machine on, and you can walk backwards and you'll get a nice workout for your legs. Just hold on to the rails, walk backwards without turning the machine on. So that was the first thing I did. That was my warm up, 150 yards forward and backward. The tennis court from baseline to baseline is 82 feet. So if you add four feet to each side, you've got 90 feet. 90 feet is 30 yards. Five, t five trips is 150 yards. And I did more just getting the sled out of my garage and to the court. So it was 150 plus yards. Then I went into RDLs. RDLs are fantastic for your hamstrings, your lower back to, to keep that posture. So I, I, like I say, I'm a work in progress. My form may not be the greatest and I may not be going too deep, but I am getting the work in. Now, I like high reps. Why do I like high reps? Because you get that cardiovascular, okay? The weight is not going, I'm not going to get injured with the weight. I can deal with the weight. And what I do, I did four reps today, 15, 15, 15. Then the last one, the last reps that I do for any exercise, I try and go to failure. Go to failure and work harder on the eccentric. When you push up a weight, let's say, as you're coming down is the eccentric and you want to go slow, five seconds, six seconds, seven seconds, that's where you're going to build muscle. So in the last, the fourth set, I did 18. So I had a total of 63 reps with the RDLs. And then I did some inclined chest presses. I started out with 32 and a half pounds, and you'll see on the video, I struggled on the last two so I took off a little weight. I, bu I bumped it down to 28 pounds. And I ended up doing a total of 41 reps in the four sets. I did 10, 10, 10, and 11 on the last one. And that's basically the workout. That's it. It'll take you about 45 minutes to an hour, hour and 15 in there, depending on your fitness level. And... Um, and then at the end, I always like to do split squat stretches. I do 25 pulses on each side, and I did some squat stretches, 25 pulses on each, each side, because I'm trying to get more flexible. All right, so which is also very key for tennis, being flexible. So that was the workout, remember, when you go to the gym, when you're working out, I, I do 80% of my workouts at home. I do go to the gym once in a while for certain things. They have a seated calf machine at the gym that I really like. 
and they've got an awesome sled there so I can do the sled while I'm there as well so <clears throat> but most of my workouts are done right here but remember when you're working out do the work show up every day and you're gonna see gains don't be on your phone calling people a lot of times I go to the gym I can't believe it people are just on the phone you know you got to do the work um, and keep track of the weight you're lifting how many reps you're doing what exercises so you can make sure that you're hitting all areas of your body so stay with me on this let's see what happens see if see if a raw vegan fruitarian can gain muscle let's see all right and uh, I'm almost embarrassed to say <laughs> I'm very light and uh, I never weighed more than 160 pounds in my life and I'm less than that now by a long shot so um, I want to get up to about I don't need a lot of weight I think if I could put on 10 pounds of muscle remember no protein patterns for me the only way you can really gain T-R-U-E, true muscle, true muscle, is resistance training. You break down those mitochondria and they come back stronger. As long as you're eating enough volume, you know, like somebody like me that's, that's trying to build muscle, I eat a little bit more volume than I need and I go a little bit more for the nuts, seeds, and avocados, but not much not a whole lot okay it's i still believe firmly believe that a low fat diet is the way to go because it optimizes your sugar uptake to the cells and your oxygen uptake which is key for an athlete
sleep. So please give this video a like, a thumbs up, any questions, please uh, post those below and I'll do my best to get back to you. All the best. You know what I'm going to do. You know where I'm going next, right? I'll probably take a quick shower and then I'm going to fruit up. If you fruit up within the first two hours of a workout, your muscle glycogen is restored two times faster than normal levels. Muscle glycogen gives you energy. All the best, guys. Take care.